Smolites, today, the 5th of November, 2023, six days to the Imo governorship elections, around between 12 and 1 o'clock this afternoon, I was on my way to uh, uh, honor an invitation by the Anglican Church, the Synod, and to be Bezina, you know, where or not. Only to, as we got to the venue, we saw, but as we were approaching, we saw, you know, armed police stationed, you know, strategically in their, their cars. So we were wondering, say, what's going on? So as soon as we got there, we saw an APC blocking the entrance to the venue, an harsh looking armed men, most of them wearing black, some carrying compacts, some carrying AK 47s. So, and they stopped us, they blocked, they didn't allow us to go. There's a rush thing in the case, sporadically. Scaring the bikers who are leading the convoys. All of them scampered for safety. So, after a lot of shooting, I had to, I, I, I came down. I said, well, I mean, I, I, this is if, if, if they can take me. Because I can't, can't understand why I can't be allowed to go and worship God in Nemo State. So I realized, so when I got there, they now claim, after, first of all, they claimed that the governor was there. I would say that somebody tore APC posters on the wall. So but the person who not like them, that is uh, Senator Tala, the person who tore it, they said no. So why are you preventing him from getting into the church premises? So, and I had to come down. I costed one Ola, the notorious Ola of uh, Tiger Bay's fair. The man who has, uh, so many lives have been lost in Imo State. And look at what they did to the NLC president. This governor is going mad. I had to call it uh, my, my, my uh, 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 security officer, called the DSS uh, director, who said he was there with the commissioner of police. I now asked to speak with him. He called me and said he wants to talk to the officer. Commissioner of police, Imo State, spoke to this Allah. Allah disobeyed him and blocked us from entering. Oh, as the shooting continued, I didn't want any life to be lost. I came out and I told him, I was pointing at him, I told him that I was going to expose him to Nigerians today. And if he doesn't leave this state today, or let us this by Monday, I'll know that this government wants to annihilate us. So I'm, I'm, I'm putting my president, Bola Metribo, notice to know what is going on here. This man wants to annihilate the entire state. So he should quickly remove all the security agencies who, who, from here. They are not obeying orders. There's a killer squad in Ohaji Ebema as well. They have been crying and they call him kill and bury. They've been crying everywhere. It's like we're, we're in a war zone. What's going on here for God's sake? Is this how we're going to have this election on, 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 on November 11th? And I hear that the INEC officers even lied to the INEC chairman, the EOs, that all the political parties agreed to move all the coalition from war to, to, to local government. We didn't even have a meeting to discuss that. So you see what's going on. There is a trouble here. Nigeria should know what's going to happen on them. If you want to declare war on Imo like, tell us. The Imo lights are ready to defend themselves. Tell us, please, what's going on here? Enough is enough. Are we now in a banana republic? That even officers don't obey police commissioners. They don't need to do anything. No rule of law in Imo State any longer. So for the next four years, this place will be a wasteland. Already, places have been, motorists are filled with corpses. Tiger Bay, people drop like flies. And that's where this Allah is. He must give this state to the commissioner immediately. And I next chairman should be put on notice. This, no collection should be done outside the World Collection Center. Thank you very much. Better the, 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 the window of my my electricity mod is shattered. A bullet hit it. Straight bullet hit it. We are lucky it was an armored vehicle. My one of my escort vehicles. Straight bullet hit it. It's there for you to go and see it after here. This is what we are going through in Imo State. People don't go home any longer. We have military, we have DSS, we have civil defense. So if we cannot be protected by all these men, let us protect ourselves for God's sake. We have our fundamental human right to life.
We have that human right to life. It's our right. And to protect ourselves. We demand if we don't get protection from the government, we must be forced to defend ourselves. Will you be right to say that it was a deliberate act to harm you? Deliberate. The governor was not even there. So you see, it was a setup. Only to find out the governor was, he even never attended the ceremony. So they came after me. Your Excellency, in the light of this, does it in any way discourage you? No, never. It has emboldened me. I'm telling you, Honorable, like, we must defend our state. Who is he? Doesn't, who is that, that man? Doesn't say, doesn't blame.